it's time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, June 25th, Tuesday. S&P up 13, NASDAQ up 190, Russell down 10, Dow down 320. Gold down a half percent, silver down over 2%. Notes and bonds a little bit green, 10-year yield down 0.19%. Oil down 1%, natural gas down over 25 Grains are red, euro a little bit red, pound unchanged, Bitcoin up 5%. VIX down 2.3, hovering just above 13. Took my one-to-one -one and three twos at the open. Uh, my one-to-one, -one, I booked 37%. Three-two, I booked 42%. O2 call calendar, tiny loss, minus 100 bucks. Still in my two rut hedges, my two DTEs at 25%, my one DTEs at 36%. Just fired off a quad 40 and a Wooga. My other account got a one to one that is still on from this morning. It filled in two different orders. So this was my half that I closed at 30%. And then the other half is still open, getting close to that 85% profit target. And then my 1DTE up 37%. Uh, post Also posted, I did a little discretionary Rick. I got out of a couple contracts at 35%. And then I was teaching the Transformers class and it bounced. And so I ended up basically scratching the other three. And then I got into another little one and for a little profit. So that is it for me. I'll go over some transformer stuff here in a minute, but Chad, what's going on with you? No, oh, it's been a frustrating day. Um, posting here. I just did a power hour number two. Post that real quick. Um, one DT, I closed it out already. Um, I did a little bit wider than normal instead of the seven dollars, um, more of the four to five dollar range. So it's 7.85, got out of half at 25 percent, 5.90, and then closed the rest a little bit ago at 4.50. Um, hadn't, hadn't got rid of many, much premium in a while, so nice winner there. AM number one, booked 20 percent, and then stopped right after the stop, it bounced. Um, and then lunchtime number one, 20, 40 percent, and then stopped the last couple of contracts. So, a little winner there. Um, and then I'm in hour one and two. I was put in a power hour number one, and then it, it's this little nasty drop just happened. And so, I was able to put on another power hour trade there, um, because it was off center. Your mic's a little choppy. Okay, how about now? Kind of cutting in and out. Yeah, I think that's still. Good. Um, and then um, got in a Wooga in my other account, so that's that's what I've got going on right now. But the frustration lies in the fact that you, it's hard to add. It's hard to add when premiums are so low. So yeah. you know, if one gets off centered, like that's fine. Like you want that to happen. Um. Cause you want to add a new centered one, but then it becomes difficult when, you know, you're, you can only get 10 wide and there's been 20 point moves. Yeah. You're looking at five wide right now. Yeah. So, I mean, really? it, it's just, that's where the frustration lies. It's not frustration. I popped. I mean, I got a green day going right now. Um, I could have not done a power hour trade at all. And I've been up like a thousand bucks on my TLC trades. 
Um, but uh, just sticking with the process here. UVXY, about a 3% contraction today. Something's coming in. Need to bounce some gold. Oil coming back down into center. Put on a new hedgehog today in ES. Let's see what else. I did a uh, pairs trade in wheat futures today. Bought the September, sold the December based on a uh, friend of mine who trades commodities. Said that was uh, that spread was way overdone, so figured I'd lay, start layering into that. Uh, as far as transformers go, so in NDX, I've got this little conglomo going. I did a uh, did a class today and talked about doing unbalanced condors and then flipping those into a free fly and in, in condor, which is what I did here. But I also added a little profit zone here that I was when NDX was up here and I we started to come down. I thought we may keep coming down. Uh, so that added a little bit of risk. So I've got 110 bucks of risk that I'm trying to clean up now, but I've got a couple of, uh, well, one profit peak that's got a chance if we go lower, but otherwise just kind of trying to clean up that risk. I had another unbalanced condor in SPX, which I had a little bit of risk to the upside and cleaned that up. So I'll book a small profit on that unless we have a big downturn, then I could make more. On my one to one re entry, let's see where I'm at here. It's at 220. I need 160 for that to hit 85%. Getting close. My one DTE is at 35%, looking for 45. It's uh, just right of center. Had a couple of Fed speakers today. I don't know if that had anything to do with the whippy price action, but let's see. Had one at 11 a.m., which would have been about right here, right before the drop. And then had one at 110, which would have been right here. So it's been now had a little, little whippiness in that period, but. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Got new new home sales, which Forex uh, Factory is showing as high impact. That's thirty minutes after the market opens tomorrow. What's your What's your Wuga? What are you on? The I'm on seventy sixty fives. I am on the seventy sixty fives. Yep. What did you get filled at? I got filled at 4.40. Man, it's three Woogas in a row. Me and you are identical, even with Phil's. I think you got in a little early yesterday. I think you got, yeah. you're about 5% ahead of me the whole time. Yeah, it was the same. It was the same fill, though, like, which was. Uh, yesterday, um, you got filled like 4% better because you jumped in. Oh, early. was it better? Okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's been, a, it's been exactly the same a few times for sure. NDX popped up above its expected move, pulled back, and now it's just kind of chopping right above it, right below highs of day. SPX has stayed within its expected move. 
also chopping right near highs of day. Oh, I was going over the uh, news. So new home sales tomorrow, Thursday, pre-market GDP and unemployment. Pending home sales 30 minutes after the bell. Friday core PCE. So had an expectation that those Friday options may keep expanding, but sure isn't looking that like that's been going on with our calendars. I put on a one, two and a one, three today. My one, two is down a couple percent. One, three is up a couple percent. My two, four is down a couple percent, but my three, four, five, seven, and six, seven are all down about 12%. Those are the ones that have the Friday options. So we'll see if that starts to pop up tomorrow for the uh, core PCE announcement. NDX has been the strongest today, up 1%. Dow is the weakest. Haven't even really looked at stocks. Let's see. Weakest of the Video. stocks, DKNG, Piton, bunch of junk. Walmart's down 2.5%. Boeing's down 2 Those are dragging the Dow down. NVIDIA and Tesla up, Meta up. I was short Meta and Tesla on nice looking mighty 90s today when the consumer sentiment hit and it shot up against me. Carnival Cruise Lines up 9% after earnings. DJT, DJT's been a little, I guess it's a few days, I guess. A couple of big days. Yeah, NVIDIA up six. Coinbase up four and a half. Tesla up two, Meta up two, SMCI, little bounce, Amazon up one, Apple up one. Chad is out Thursday morning. He's scheduled to do the Mighty 90 Runner live stream. So I'm going back to going back to the old school. I'm going to be running the Mighty 90 Runner session Thursday. It's been a while. I'm a little out of practice, so be easy on me. I'll do my best, though. Get back into the swing. Yep. Sometimes you just got to shake off the rust. I mean, I'm actually looking forward to it. I've been so focused on other things that I have done very little Mighty 90 Runner stuff in a while. So uh, I do it sporadically. I do it just uh, if, I'm, if I'm feeling like it, if I don't have anything else going on. But so I've done it, if, I don't know, if this year, I would say I've probably maybe traded it three days a couple times here here and there a couple couple trades a few different days just hit 20 percent on my power hour number one My uh, quad 40 is on the 60 and 75 strikes.
Let's see. The at the money butterflies were staying pretty cheap earlier. Let's see. 65 strike. Currently at about a dollar ten, dollar fifteen. I mean, it sure looks like to me we're wanting to rip higher. Into the end of the day. Yeah, let's just stay between 60 and 54, 60 and 54, 70. Let's just stay between there. I, if I can get my little down movement, my power hour number two will hit 20%, and then I'll be, be no big deal because I would have gotten rid of half on both of them already. It look like there, looks like there's a two-year note auction right before that bounce. Maybe that had something to do with that. Move up fourteen percent. Vix trying to pierce thirteen to the downside. been a while since i've had two power hour trades on like this and then during power hour My rut hedges are not doing so hot. The one from today is down a little bit. And then the one from yesterday is in trouble. Pretty well centered. Just closed out of my one-to-one -one re entry for 85%. And I just got filled on my. Power hour number two at 20%. So you're home free. Home free now. Scratch trades, the worst they could be. Minus $8 of slippage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Count, it doesn't do it. I'm telling it's weird. <laughs> Don't get it. One DTE is at 39%, getting close. We get a little down move in SPX, it should hit 45%. It's going to need a little more decay.
By the way, if uh, anyone's interested, I'm going to, I'll stay on here after the bell as I, for those of you who attended the uh, transformer class today, I'll, I'll stay on after the bell and put on a uh, unbalanced condor just to kind of show you, show you live in action. Yeah, I, I haven't I haven't looked that closely. Is it Thursday IV is increasing or is Friday's decreasing? Morrow, have you noticed? Yeah, Krish, this is always being recorded. I mean, the option chains still show about 12% on Friday. Oh, no, that's come down now, too. Ooh. Maybe a combo of both. You know, the difference between Thursday and Friday and Wednesday and Friday. I was looking at it earlier, and it was, a, it was about 12. Now it's 11.73, so getting a little, a little less. VIX, 12.99, cracked it. We'll go up 20%. I'm going to scale out of one of my one DTEs at 37%. So Monday, you just put on a single put calendar. Now my 3-4 double is down about 11%. Did you put that on in the morning on Monday? Same time as I do my double? Or was that a different, different time of day? Oh, I see. Yeah, of course we've come down, so that one's going to be doing better. SPX getting a little bounce. We'll get back to center.
be about 40% to hit 40% of power hour number one. Number two, use a little bit of down movement. SPX and NDX creeping towards highs of day. As long as it just creeps and then stops. No, this is not what we want for our delta neutrals, but it just feels like this thing wants to go up to the expected move around 80 before end of day. Maybe it can wait till we get out of Wooga. That would be ideal. <clears throat> Yeah, after we get in Mahomes would be even more ideal. I don't know why SPX just doesn't do what we want every day. Seventy butterfly trading for a dollar forty. Just double? Tell you what, if I can get SPX to do what I want, I'll just make it free for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> NVIDIA up 6%. I do need NDX to hit highs of day. I'm trying to get something filled to round out my transformer here.
Yeah, it sure does look like it wants to go up. It's way outside my short strike. So I'm trying to close that. Yeah, Chad, we can barely hear you. Your something's up with your mic, brother. Plug in a different one. All right, how's that? Much better. Let me see. All right, how's that? Much better. I close. I went ahead and closed my uh, power hour number two. Just did not like the price action, so basically took a twenty percent out. Yeah, I'm thinking about closing my quad forty. Leave my Wuga on. Just don't trust this. Little price action. Five hundred fifty dollar winner closed at six oh five, which was my original fill was five ninety five. So I'll take it. Sometimes Mr. SPX just gets that little look in its eye. Got my NDX fill that I needed. All right, so I got no risk in NDX, and I got one or possibly two close by peaks. Didn't I just say the at the money 70 butterfly was trading for about a dollar forty or so? I was trading at a dollar thirty and it's closer to the 70 strike. Yeah, premiums are. I smell a move coming, my friends. I smell it. I have been wrong before.
I was wrong that one time back in 88. But I smell it. Something smells fishy. Well, now it's back up to 40 plus. It's weird. Moving away from the 70s strike and it's increasing. I went ahead and I went ahead and closed my Wuga and took the profits because I could see this coming as well. It may come back, but even Wuga Wuga got scared out of Wuga. That's not yeah, a good sign. Yeah. Still holding on to my one power hour. Yeah, I, I got filled at 440 and I closed my Wooga at 370. Just didn't like the looks of price action. Well, I was thinking about closing my quad 40, but I didn't. Now it just dipped into the red. Wooga just dipped into the red. Yeah, my power hour number one is hanging on. My stop is at six ninety and it's currently at five bucks. So any type of down movement will help. Just a little dip before the rest of the rip. Yeah, I'm going to scale out of some yuga, some wuga. And I'm going to scale out of some quad 40. Don't typically do that based on my, uh, based on this kind of situation, but. I think we might be heading somewhere. Hey, Brian, I see you uh, chime in on, on the Zoom chat. Do me a favor, all the uh, questions and comments, post those in the uh, Zero Live chat channel in Discord. But to answer your question, Wooga is not only a member, but he has his own strategy called the Wooga. Uh, if you go to my trade plan in the trade plan channel, you can pull up my sheet and right around the power hour stuff, there's the, you'll see my option Omega back test for it and all the details of it. 
It's basically just a iron condor with 10 wide wings, no stop. Pretty nice little pullback for the Wooga there if anybody stayed in it. Yeah, I'm, I stayed in some. I just took some off. My uh, power hour number one is it's, that pullback's helping. I need, still need about 60 cents though for 40%. Yeah, they're not, they're not giving anything up. My Wooga is at like 20 some percent. Now it's at 16 even though it's back to, well, it's not quite centered. Still hanging around 5470. That's right on my short strike. We'll go right back to center, but price is still under where it was 10 or 15 minutes ago. I was about a nickel away from getting filled on 40%. Pretty centered, though. That's good. At the money butterfly still only trading for a dollar thirty five, dollar forty.
A little over 22 minutes to go. I considered adding a 2-3 DTE double calendar this afternoon, but decided to pass. Just I've got enough exposure going on my calendars that I didn't really want to add anymore. Luga up about 19%, about 20%. False alarm on the upside explosion so far. I should be hitting 40% any second now. They are still being stingy with the premiums, though. There's 40%. Hit it. Hit it. Yep. Yeah, probably would have hit 40% if I'd have stayed in my power hour number two, but I'm not, I'm not mad at myself for just closing it out for a small profit. Because I was right there with you. I thought I was going to just shoot up. Still may, still may, still being stingy with the premiums. Or could just been a little, a little delay. 
We'll delay the fate of decay. Or we may crash. I don't know. <laughs> Never know. My one DTE is at 38% still. So for my unbalanced condor that I do after the bell, you guys, you guys want to have a little bullish assumption or a little bearish for tomorrow? Yeah. I'll do oh, whatever. Man. I'll do whatever you guys want. We'll go a little bullish or a little bearish. Ken's battery's dead on his crystal ball. E. Allison is bearish on top of the mountain, bullish. Eric D. bearish. Man. Doesn't look like, a, I'm not sure we're going to agree on this. <laughs> My tendency would be to go a little bullish. Both of them are pretty neutral, but just depends on where you want to, if you want to use puts or calls. Yeah, I never would have guessed it would have come down like this much. My power hour number two would be book and profits. Sixty five butterfly trading for about a dollar sixty. Actually, pretty beautiful power hour rice movement. Yep. Oh yeah, my 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 power hour too would be way over forty percent.
about two minutes till the MOC number. I need 50 cents for my power hour number one to, to book 60 and out. Is that on the 70s? That's the 65 70s. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty, pretty centered. So it's going to end up being a really nice green day even though it was a little stressful throughout the day. All right, listening for MOC. In about 10 seconds. Wow. 1.1 billion sell side. I'm guessing people would be close to hitting their profit target in Wuga. No profit target yet in Wuga. About time to close it. How close are you? About 40 cents away. It's not bad. But I'm going to close it because I need to get ready for my homes. Out at 255. That's pretty good. Thirty cents away, being sixty and out, which I would love. I'm gonna put on a butterfly at the sixty-five strike. If it moves a little bit. I'll try another. Looks like it's currently trading at about a dollar seventy. Close out of my one DTE. Go ahead and close out of my quad 40.
So small profit on the quad 40. Sixty five butterfly still only trading at about a dollar seventy. About five and a half minutes to go. And I've been so close. Nice, Eric D. I put one on the seventy as well. Since we're creeping up a little bit. We go. I am out sixty and out. Less than four minutes. Something just filled. All right, I'm getting filled on the sixty fives. Now I need to move away from 65. NDX is sitting nicely if it pinned right here. Quick pop to 70. Would be beautiful. Plus sixty two thirty total for me today. Nice. Uh, Let's see, I did a little over five k in one account, and I'm up forty six hundred in the other one. TLC Wait for Mahomes to finish it off. TLC was plus thirty five eighty. Twenty six fifty on my one DTE. Need to stay above sixty eight to be profitable. Got a minute and a half.
It's trying. It's trying for 70. Hit it. Boom. Locked in. Did I just get filled on both verticals? Oh. All right, so I locked in 2,000 on my homes. Now we can crash. We got a minute to crash. There's our little bounce. Ten seconds. Ding, ding, ding. SPX settling in at fifty four sixty nine point four four. Nice. All right, so tomorrow's live stream, tomorrow's Wednesday, the 26th of chat will be streaming live in the morning, and then we'll be back for power hour. Everybody have a good night. If you want to stay on, I am going to enter a uh, transformer on tomorrow's expiration, an unbalanced condor, so feel free to stay on. So let's see, I'm going to go to the call side. So what I like to do is go to somewhere around 30, 35 ish Delta. I'm going to do the call side. So I'm looking at the 5480 and the 5485. So that's the call spread that I'll buy. And then I'm going to go down below the expected move. So below 16 Delta and I'm going to sell 10 wide. So it looks like it's currently trading at about 85 cents, which is more than I want to pay. So what I can do is I can move my short call spread down a strike which is not ideal because it gives us a more of a narrow range, but so that's trading for about 30 or 40, 35 cent debit. So the reason I do that is just because I don't, if we, if we go down, I don't want much risk to the downside. So yeah, I mean, normally, I, I mean, I like to be a lot wider between my shorts here, but that is what the options are priced at. So ideally, price would kind of stay where it's at, could move down 10, up 10 or so would be ideal to stay in kind of a plus or minus 10 point range when we open up in the morning to uh, to transform this. Now, the tighter this is, sometimes the longer you have to wait to transform it as well. So, uh, but this is what I'll do for tomorrow. Let's try to get filled at 30 cents. Thirty-five. It's probably trading at forty. Yeah, filled at 40 cents. So ideally, if, if there is more skew in these options, like if there was a decent report tomorrow, like a CPI, PPI or something, th these things could get really wide. But this is a lot, this is really tight, a lot tighter than 
normal, quote unquote normal. But that's what I have on. If it if price, see the expected move for tomorrow is about 22, which would put us about right here. So if we open up, much more than that higher i would just close it and take a take a little loss but if we if we if we stay below say 5492 then uh then we should be able to transform this potentially at some, at some point in the day it might be you know like today i did something similar but on the put side <coughs> Which look like uh, which looked kind of like this, except it had I got in for a debit, so it had some risk to the upside, and I was a, I was able to clean up that risk, so I ended up making seventy bucks, even though it never really gave me a chance to do a real good transformer on it, and so. We'll see what happens tomorrow on this one. Yep. So it's so the bell, it's after the bell. So you obviously can't trade zero DTE. So this is on the one day options. So I put this on the night before looking to um, transform it tomorrow morning or at some point tomorrow. There's a, uh, Mauro, did, did, were you not at the, in the transformer session today? I talked about it in more detail there if you want to check that out. Whoops. Krish, I meant to reply to your comment and I accidentally deleted your comment, I think. So here's that, here's that order. Oh, that was Ken. Never mind. Ken, there. I pa I pasted it there. All right, my friends. Any questions? Oh, yeah. Thank you, MRP. So I will, uh, in the morning, I'll post in the uh, Transformer chat what I'm doing with that one, or I'll do a loom to kind of give you an update if it, wherever it is, even if it if it's not transformable at the open, I'll I'll kind of just walk you through what I'm looking at. All right, all. Nothing else. Have a good night. Cheers.